I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. I'm going to apologize ahead of time. It's very windy out here, but it's probably going to be worse out at Cedar Oaks due to the fact that we got all those locusts. But what we're going to be talking about is a pistol that we already did a short on a while back and I was just pretty much introducing it, doing an unboxing, and telling you that we're going to have a series of videos on it, starting off with the overview. This is the overview. Now we've been having some of the legends from Umarex. They're all BB guns. And these are really fantastic BB guns. Uh, we've had the lever action cowboy rifle, the Peacemaker, the old Western revolver. And we've had the M1A1, which has been very popular with viewers. In fact, I had one viewer say to me, would you quit showing all of this cool stuff? Because I've got to go out and buy it, and then I've got to explain to my wife why I'm spending the money. Well, none of them are really all that expensive, but I know what he means. He sees something like that, and i got to get it. And he said that I had talked about how well the accuracy was on it. It was really, really good, and we even shot at that rocket shot that we did where we shoot at the, uh, the target, and it shoots a cannon in the area. Well, we're going to try that again with this gun I'm going to talk about. But that uh, M1A1 was... I mean, it was really, really nice gun. It is. I still got it, and we're still shooting. Uh, Umarex has been very, very nice at supplying these things, and they respect your interviews. Whether you've got a problem or not, they go with it. Some companies anymore just don't want you to do one unless you do it positive. That's not the way reviews are supposed to go. But Umarex, they're a good company. Anyway, here it is right here. You've already seen the box right there because we showed it in the last one. And here's the gun itself. Now this is kind of an upgrade version because I've seen where they had another one that none of this stuff functioned. Everything functions on this. Uh, this is even the same weight. And like I said, it's a Parabellum P08, better known as a Luger. Uh, during World War II, these were very, very popular. They started actually out in the late 1800s, but they entered production on the original one in 1949, shortly after the war. Um, but this one, like I said, it all works. It has back here, it has your blowback. We're gonna go through this. It weighs around 2.2 pounds, just right about on what the actual gun weighed. Um, it is all metal, which is very nice, except for down here, you got a plastic grip here. At one time, you pop this out in order to put your CO2 cartridge in. Now you don't do that. I'll show you, and you have to can it kind of on its side. You can't reach around here and hit the button. This is the magazine release button right here. Okay, we pop it around, there's the magazine. Now put this down, and that fires about 310 feet per second. That's what it's supposed to do. Uh, so you're not gonna get a lot of range out of it, which pistol you wouldn't, you know, probably 21 feet, something like that, that'd be about it. But anyway, here's, here's your magazine. Now you notice the shape of it. That is because right in here fits your CO2 cartridge. It takes a single CO2. To load this, there's a follower right up here. You pull that down, and then your BBs, you load them right there in that little hole. And it holds 21 rounds. It's a lot of rounds, but I'll tell you, I got a feeling this gun, and from what I understand, is so fun to shoot, it doesn't take you long to go through 21 rounds, because it is a semi-automatic. And you just put it in, just like that. Now up here, you have a safety, just like you'd actually have. And it's in safe position right now. Okay, I'm gonna move it up to here, and then we got it there, and you notice it locked back, because we, don't have any more rounds. It had fired its last round. So how do you get it back down? You pop out your magazine again, just like that, pull it back, and there you go. You got it, just like that. As I said, just like a real gun. In there, put the magazine in. So, and I'll show you the trigger pull on this. We'll take it off safe. It is very, very light trigger pull. Right there. And very crisp. Uh, I, that's one reason I think this thing is really, really going to be good at shooting. Um, and we're going to try it on that rocket shot we have that you fire at the target and then it throws a can or whatever. And we're gonna, I think we're going to throw something else in there, but I'm going to keep that as a surprise and a little bit of a tip of something else that you can go to. But uh, we're going to shoot that for that, and that's going to be one of the things. Otherwise, we're going to be just shooting at our regular targets, and it is BBs. And man, that wind is picking up, isn't it? It is BB, so 
We're going to be doing something, shooting it at something a little bit different than AR-500 steel because that's something you don't shoot BBs at is AR-500 steel. Uh, the only thing, they do have a steel target and we showed you before that's angled really dramatically and you hit it and it's a metal target that I forget is it air so anyway one of the companies puts it out I haven't had a great success with it but except for the fact it does work when the BB hits it it sends it straight to the ground so that works out pretty good on that type but I don't really suggest it with BBs go with something that's a soft background cardboard something of that sort good thick background though because some of these can well 310 feet per second if you're shooting close, that can go through a few things. And we may plank off some cans though. Soda cans, they're, they're soft. They are soft, as you know. Put up an old Pepsi can or Coke can or something like that. They're so soft that just you can practically poke your finger through some of them. So this thing would work for that. But again, this is the Parabellum PO8, better known as a Luger, that we're gonna be doing the full review on now and shooting it. But I did wanna do the overview of this and show you what we had and get some interest in it so make sure that you subscribe like and uh, you'll be knowing then when we're going to have the next one where we're going to be shooting so until next time shoot safe and have a great day of blanking